a vector embedding or simply an embedding or vector is nothing but a numerical representation of text, video, image, etc. Machine language algorithms use these vectors or embeddings to perform semantic search. In this example, you can see a simple vector. There could be a lot of dimensions. There could be thousands of dimensions for these vectors. In this animation on the left side, you can see text object, audio, image. And in the middle, there is critical component called embedding model. Embedding models are very important and they actually convert the objects into vector embeddings on the right side. For example, OpenAI has a embedding model called ADA. And depending on your use case, you need to pick and choose the right embedding model. Here is another example. On the left side, you have an image for apple, fruits and lion. And in the middle, there is embedding model and it is converting those images into vectors. So in a way, embedding model is a translator because the machine language algorithms doesn't understand images or text, text messages by itself. So the embedding model here is acting as a translator, translating any object, text, image, video into vectors. So it plays a very critical role. We have talked about embedding model and vectors. Now, once the vectors are stored in vector database, how does semantic search happen? There are several distance metrics like cosine distance, Euclidean distance, etc. So when you perform a search using chart GPT or something, right, in the background, it is using cosine distance, etc. to calculate the nearest neighbors and then retrieve the results. In this example, this boy, child, infant, adult, man, etc. And on the right, you can see the distance from boy to child is 4, girl is 8, infant is 4.1, grandfather is 7, man is 5, etc. So depending on the distance, is going to retrieve the results for you. This is a simple example, but in reality, it's way more complex. And in this example, we have a 3D vector space. The three dimensions before there was age and gender. In this example, there's a third dimension called royalty because uh, we added uh, princess, queen, king and prince. And uh, in reality, like I said, there will be thousands of dimensions. And uh, we just illustrated a simple example with two dimensions and three dimensions here. So far we have seen the theory part, now let us uh, generate some vectors using embedding model. Here I wrote a simple Python program to generate vectors. The model we are using is this one. This is the OpenAI ADA model. And here you need to replace this key with your own OpenAI key. And the word we are trying to generate embedding for is Apple. We're calling this function and then printing the embedding. Let's go ahead and run it. Now you can see for that simple word, it printed out so many numbers. So in this case, we have uh, thousands of dimensions, thousand plus dimensions. That's why you see a lot of numbers here. Now to simplify, I have written this uh, 
Python program to reduce the dimensions. The words we picked in this case are apple, fruit, lion, and animal. And uh, we are using the same embedding model. And we are reducing the dimensions to 2 here. Let's go ahead and run it. Now you can see that we only have two dimensions for apple, this one, for animal, this one, and so on. Further, we will reduce to one dimension. This is just for learning purpose, but in real time, there will be thousands of dimensions. And this is the program we're going to use to reduce to one dimension. Now you can see that uh, there's only one dimension for apple. This is the vector embedding fruit, this one, and so on. You can see the distance between fruit and apple is less when compared to apple and sport, etc. In the previous example, we generated one dimensional vectors for learning purpose. Apple has this numeric value, fruit, this one and uh, mango this one just remember these numbers now we're going to insert into our table which we created uh, using pg vector and uh, we can see the definition of this table We have two columns, the first one is ID and the second one is embedding where we are actually storing the vectors. Here we are only storing uh, one dimensional vectors for learning purpose and uh, we stored the vectors for mango, fruit, apple, etc. Now we are going to perform some operations. The first one is we're going to calculate L2 distance or Euclidean distance using this query. If you see, this operator means we are calculating L2 or Euclidean distance. And uh, when we run that, so we are doing that for this one, which means we are doing that for Apple. And uh, when we run that on database, we're getting the nearest neighbors. In this case, this one is, uh, of course, apple, and this one is uh, fruit, and then the next one is mango. So these are the three nearest neighbors. And after that, we're going to run using cosine distance. And even there, we get the fruit, apple, and mango as the nearest neighbors. So we're going to run these queries now on the database and see. We're going to get the same result. Go ahead and run this. Now we are using Euclidean distance operator. You can see these three vectors are nothing but the fruit related words, apple, mango, and fruit. And let us run the query for cosine distance. Even this one is giving the nearest neighbors as these three, which is uh, fruit, apple, and mango. 